Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay for the QF 3.7 Ram. This is a currently ranked 3 battle rating 5.3 tank destroyer for the British Ground Forces Tech Tree. This vehicle has a 3.7 inch gun, if you guys didn't know, which equals about 94 millimeters, which itself is the only gun of this size in all of War Thunder, which is very, very interesting, at least insofar as what's mounted on a tank. Now, this is an anti-aircraft gun, interestingly enough, but it does not have any sort of specific anti-aircraft shells, but of course, you could use the Shot Mark 1 and the Shell Mark 1 for anti-aircraft, but good luck hitting a tank. Now this is mounted on the Ram chassis, which is a tank. Uh, it's pretty well protected, but in this instance, not really. And this vehicle is more or less comparable to the VFW or the Waffentrieger in the German Ground Forces Tech Tree. But of course, this, instead of having any explosive filler, only a solid shot, but very good solid shot for 5.7 BR. Now this vehicle was offered during the Operation Frost 2019-2020 event and currently sells for give or take around $40 on the marketplace. But as with anything else, likely over time, we are to see the price go up as the amount of these on sales decreases now that being said let's get into a few matches here this is a very unique vehicle eventually want to do something on the lorraine 15 but regardless we saw the qf 3.7 ram which is itself a very interesting premium vehicle and should be a very fun thing to use that said let's get into a few matches okay we have ourselves an enemy over there had ourselves an enemy over there very very nice this thing shot right through that thing like butter. But of course it will because that's the side armor on a tiger. And tiger side armor isn't really all that noteworthy. Uh, I mean, of course, at least when fighting uh, lower BR and weaker vehicles, it can be. But uh, for the most part, it doesn't really hold up all too well versus anything of comparable uh, BR, at least with a tiger. Oh, shoot, there's a tiger. Got him right there. Oh, wow. Does he not notice me? No, he doesn't. Woo! There we go. There we go. Very, very nice. I'm going to... Hopefully be able to go up over here, but I mean as you can see this thing is just Despite the fact that it has a solid shot is laying waste if you can hit the ammo of the enemy uh, It doesn't really matter if you got solid shot or not for the most part uh, it will still lay down the heat Lay down the hatred I almost kind of feel like I hear an enemy tank Okay, there's definitely another enemy here on the left. I definitely hear him. Ho oh, ho, buddy! Told you, I knew it. Follow your ears, wherever they go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There you go, LMG. You can actually get the reload speed of this thing down to six seconds flat, if I'm not mistaken, which of course, would require me to not only have an expert crew, which I don't have on it, but also a... Oh, there we go. I'm still alive. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Man, this is easily one of those vehicles that I wish, really wish, that you could take this cannon and put it into a fully enclosed vehicle. Better yet, a vehicle with a turret that is faster than this. Very nice. I mean, this still isn't that bad with an unexpert crew, so with a base trained crew. Um, you know, and just minimal points put into it. I think I've got like 2.5 points pretty much in everything 
Um, I'm still getting around 8.5 degrees per second. Ah, I feel bad. I didn't kill him in time. Uh, which, you know, isn't... That's not terrible. Not terrible. What is going on here? Whoa! I feel like I'm just being surrounded by people who have no idea what's going on. That guy easily would have killed me. Should have killed me. Ooh, enemy. Uh oh, that's bad. Does he even know I'm here? Oh yeah. You know, I'll tell you guys this. This vehicle is forty dollars, give or take, right now. It'll probably go up to like forty-five, fifty in the next few months. Whatever, right? Natural progression of the War Thunder Marketplace as quantity becomes limited. The price goes up. Of course, that's how economies work. Now, when it comes to this vehicle in particular, if it were like 20 or $25, I would go out of my way to say, this might be something you want to look at purchasing. I mean, it's, it's a surprisingly good vehicle. I'm having a much better time with this vehicle than I would have ever imagined. Like, I'm not typically a very big fan of... Um, you know, of, of tank destroyers, especially of this era, and especially like this, you know, LMGs, HMGs, those are my main weakness. However, I mean, this thing is just powerful. I'm shooting through the front of, uh, of Jumbo Sherman's, no problem. It's crazy. Okay, we have ourselves an enemy. Had ourselves an enemy. An enemy over here, maybe? Yes, there is. Ah, uh, he just got by me. Very nice. Although, one of the great things about this vehicle, I'm surprised thoroughly, is its mobility. Um, this thing has the ability to go from 0 to 30 very quickly. Uh, which is nice, especially for a vehicle of this BR and of this type. Um, you know, at least not when, or when not going uphill, but very, very impressive thus far, um, insofar as its mobility is concerned, but mobility plus firepower, I mean, that's largely going to be the key for gameplay in this game, especially when it comes to higher BR vehicles. So we have the tank here, and he destroyed my vertical turret drive, of course. Okay, he's trying to move up on me. I'm gonna have to be a little sneaky here. If I can force him to get right up next to me, I may be able to get this kill. Got it! Look at that! Didn't have a working vertical turret drive, but uh, it <laughs> definitely worked. All you have to do is put a little trickery into it, and you can actually get the kill. Ooh, and he had a T-34E. Oh, we have uh, an enemy. Does he notice me? Nope. Oh, shnikes. Does he... Oh, he knows. No, he doesn't. What the heck was that? It's like he was a bot. Wow. Okay. So, wow. Um, some of my guys are napping on the job. That is totally inappropriate. I can't believe it. Like, why would I hire them to be part of my tank crew if they're just going to be napping on the job? Ugh, jeez. Good help is hard to find, if you ask me. Okay, it sounds like we got some people over here. I'm going to probably die to someone on my left. Here's for hoping otherwise. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, maneuver. Got the kill. Very nice. Got some other... Okay, I'm dead now. Doesn't really matter. Four kills, not too bad. Had a very good experience with this vehicle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. By other way, thanks again. See you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.